Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to quickly go over what you'll need for this course. The first thing that you need is, you'll want to have at least an intermediate knowledge of PHP and MySQL. The reason I mention intermediate here is because I think it'd be a bit tricky to follow along with the examples if you're just starting off learning about the basics and I don't think you'd necessarily be able to get the most out of the course if you're not fully comfortable yet with the basic underlying technologies. The second thing that I recommend that you have is a working knowledge of the CodeIgniter framework. So hopefully you've had a chance to play around with the framework a little bit, whether that be on a simple web development project or whatnot, but having some familiarity with the framework uh, will enable you to focus most of your attention on the actual guts of the course, which is to learn about creating RESTful APIs. The third thing that you'll need is your own environment setup, which you can use to follow along with the examples. This is the most important prerequisite because without this, you won't be able to follow along and get the critical hands-on experience that you'll need for this course. So as you can see, I'm running Exampt on Windows 7 as my Apache server. I also have PHP and MySQL already configured for my environment as well. So here's my local database server. For the exercises, you'll need to have access to your own MySQL database, as well as the ability to create and modify tables. You also need to know how to set up a virtual host so that you can create a URL to use for calling your API. I know some people like to use just localhost, which is actually perfectly fine, but I recommend using a named virtual host in order to create a more uh, customized URL for your API. Uh, so as you can see here, I have a server name, uh, myapi.com. Here it is. And it just points to this directory on my local computer. So that just about summarizes what you'll need in order to get started. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to download and install all of the necessary libraries and plugins to make your life a whole lot easier when creating these APIs.